Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's me again, Gamer Lush, with another, another first shot with store sort stores. <laughs> Sorry, let's try that again. Use words this time, Lush. Sword of the Stars, the Pit. Now, I'm probably thinking this is kind of an old game, but if you guys think two month year old game, two month old games are old, then I guess you guys just have way more income just buy get games straight off the bat. But this came out around March 8th of this year, and it is a offshoot or a spin-off of a other well-known series, Sword of the Stars, which was a sci-fi space combat RTS to where you basically would take over other galaxies, pick a race, take over a galaxy. It was quite a really good game back in it was around 2006, I believe. But then they made this one, which is totally different, which is a art, a roguelike RP, roguelike RPG. Think uh, Diablo, but with Roguelock, if you guys don't know what Roguelike is, it's basically you get one life, one chance. Well, not one chance necessarily, but you get that one chance through that first time. Once you die, you're dead. You can't save, you can't reload. You, you make up for the. You gotta suffer the mistakes that you make through that game. And you're probably wondering, why the hell would you want to do that? It's just. It adds challenge and way more replayability. And so, with that in mind. Guys, we start every episode with shot because I'm gonna need it. And this game become very frustrating. Let's go ahead and start this baby up. All right, go ahead. New game. We're gonna do normal, and of course, they start off with three, three job classes. They're all different, and they even give you a little background story. It's kind of cute. Now, the graphics on this one isn't the top of the line, but they're not like eight bit. I think. For this one, would be more comparable to 16-bit graphics. <laughs> I don't know. So we have a scout, marine. Each one has their weaknesses and strengths. Like the engineer has is more technology inclined, can heal himself better, uh, has can hack computers a little better. The scout can shoot better, farther. She can hack. Uh, no, she can't hack. She can lock pick doors, and the marine can, just, can take damage better and way up up close melee damage is good. Um, like I said, I usually play class or caster classes, so I guess in turn for a science fiction RPG, it'd be more a class that uses his brain. So we're going to go ahead with the engineer. Okay, blah, blah. like I said, guys, I tried this one before. Uh, not sure. I didn't really check up on the story. Didn't really seem too much important. With these kind of games, they don't really seem too much important to me. They got room crates here. So you can look around, and this is from an isometric, a top down view. And you'll see this dark cone behind me. It does line of sight. So if I can't, if I'm not looking directly or I have not in my peripheral vision, I can't see it. Now I'm going to search for this gunk. Okay, I got, I, okay, so I forged through that gunk, and but I got attacked by that. There's a chance that you guys can, it, forging can be interrupted. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy. You can click on it to aim. I you can see down here in the right bottom corner, I have my gun. But you can also uh, go into your inventory, and as you can see, it's kind of, if you guys ever play Diablo, it's very Diablo-esque, to where you're basically playing inventory Tetris. And you can you can rearrange things to where you see fit. You can even, you know, if you're kind of a stickler and have to have everything in line, kind of like I am. And then you'll have a sort of weapons. I have a knife and a regular pistol at this moment. Each class starts off with a different a set of weapons, ammo, equipment... Uh, kits like you see like all these kits here in my right hand corner right hand corner of the inventory these are all ballistic repair kit I can fix guns electro electronics kit to help me with hacking computers and a sharpening kit which helps me repair my ballist my melee weapons and then I have a standard here it basically lets me look and remind me of where I went because this game will not keep a mini map for you I know right brutal uh, I have a uh, rounds and you actually have to keep track of your health and your hunger. So you can't starve to death. Or if you starve, it'll basically start eating away at your life. You'll get poisoned. Oh, I got some rotten cheese from out of that little gunk pile. But alright, let's keep on going. Alright, so as I have the you skip forging as a skill you can use, I have 21 right here. Seeing how this is the first level, they're not too brutal about it. So I have a 75% chance of success of finding something useful in here. So let's give it a try. Oh. That went 
All right, so I found a food pellet. Now, I'm an ice bat is uh, coming my range. Now, you can sit here all day, and this guy will not attack you. It's only when you actually attack him or you actually move to where this one will react. So it's not real time. It's basically turn based, kind in kind of in a sense. Let's go ahead and attack. All right, it's good enough. I was able to attack him with one hit. Let's go ahead and pick up these bindings. We can use them for later for crafting, which is also in the game. Like wow, it's like you have all these certain things crafting. So this is a robot maintenance bot. So me going up to it, I'm an engineer. That's Fighting's not my forte, so we're gonna go ahead and go to gun something more safer. Is able to take it down. This will damage, and your weapons can get damaged just like you saw there. And we'll go ahead and pick this up. Required a key to this floor. You can now open doors, most locked doors. So now I don't have to worry about lock picking doors now. Now, after I got out of battle, here in the bottom right counter, you see the 4 slash 6 and 70. Four is how much bullets you have in the gun. Six, of course, it's pretty self-explanatory if you've played a lot of shooters or any other MMOs or just games in general. So we got to reload. But when you reload, that means still everything moves around because you're taking turns. It's just acting like you're moving. So always take a look around if you're reviving surroundings, making sure that it's is it safe. Yes. All right, cool. We got some moldy bread. Yeah. We... Uh, Make sure your array surroundings, because you don't want to be caught with your with your pants down and uh, no ammo in your gun when you're sitting there stuck with in a middle of media. The words words use words. Uh, in the middle of a firefight with no bullets in your gun. Oh, okay. So he I was able to attack me because I wasn't paying attention. So I switched to my fist, but right, I should be able to take out. Oh, I'm missing. Let's go ahead and switch to the knife. Got him. All right, now as you can see, everything's lit up. I can't see until I actually get in the area. This rot just came up because I hit around the corner. I'm gonna conserve bullets because this is, like I said, a roguelike. So you want to make sure you keep your bullets and anything, you know, precious ammo. So this is more survival. And with the survival aspect, it puts more tension in the game. And I don't know if people like feeling like insecure or don't want to have it too difficult for them this is not the game for them because this feels like a survival horror than most survival horrors but it's not in a horror sense it's not it's just more survival to it now you can see here on the bottom press C to level up it'll show you all my stats the experience my health all this food and now I can I have two points to spend in base stats which is might which is more concentrated on fighting and taking hits and how much you can well no not how much you can care because that's actually controlled by backpacks and what have you Fitness is how well you can aim with guns, lock picking. It actually even has, you can, if you see the icons next to the stat, as a little fist, a aiming reticle, and a brain. And you can, when you go down to available like, skill points, it'll actually show you how, what stat is associated with what skill. So I'm weak at fighting and aiming, so, and I have a really good amount of brain stats, so I'm going to spin a point in these ones that I'm weaker at. So I can actually do better. My lock picking is at 25, but my electronic skill, my computer skills at 55, and my electronic skills at 55 as well. But electronic is controlled by fitness. So keep all these in mind when you're doing this, because like I said, once you die, you're dead, and it's only your fault. Are unfortunately a lot of rogue games they do kind of throw on some unfair scenarios at you, so it's really kind of out of your control. But you. It's not to the point to where it's, yes, it can become frustrating at a time. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sitting here standing here not doing anything. Let's put something in knife, because we're using knife right now, and pistol, because we're using pistol. We have four more points. I want to forge a little better. Let's see here. Let's do some lock picking, and, well, we only have one point less, so let's put it in melee. Now, melee stinks. If I were a marine, my melee would be just fine. Go and shoot him. All right. Uh oh, shoot him. So we use two bullets. Go ahead and reload because we don't see anything else in the area. Oh, something just came up. Bam. Right, let's go ahead and forge this. All right. Now we got some rations. Cool. Now exploration is key because you have to look around, make sure you have to find all. All these resources that are available to make this trip easier. 
because I believe this is 30 levels of floors, and you're probably not thinking, well, 30's not too bad, but as you keep going down, my the furthest I went was 10 and 15 on easy, and, t and easy said kind of felt... There wasn't that happy medium between the two, because easy just felt too damn easy, but uh, medium kind of felt too hard a little bit, because I'm a normal now, hoping just to end this quickly. I found nothing in that forge, I got attacked. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm lit sniffly lately. All right. Oh. Okay. So I'm a little low on ammo. Go and shoot. Nope. Missed him. Missed him again. Wow. Okay. I know that rat's behind me, so I gotta turn around. All right. Got another guy here. Let's go ahead and move down the hall a little bit so that other red bat doesn't attack us. Come on. You want some? Yeah. All right. Come on. We're not too terrible at fighting, but we're not the best, of course. Wow, we got a lot of enemies in the area. Alright. Alright, so cool. Oh, now he decides to come out and play. I have zero bullets, so I could reload, but that'll leave me exposed to being attacked, as I'll show you guys here. Okay, so I'm reloading it, so he's getting a couple attacks on me. So, reloading during battle is bad. But, as you can see, we have four slots of weapons you can equip in the middle of the battle. So, you're not, so let's say you have multiple weapons, you're not totally got caught with your pants out. If you make sure to keep all your weapons loaded, locked and loaded. Alright, all right. what we got here? Breaching charge, those are good for unlocking doors. Okay, so we found the manhole. These are how you advance in the game. But, I don't feel like explored the whole place, like, so there could be more stuff I need to explore. The, the red is my health, as you can see here, and the blue is my food. That's basically my hunger. You guys make sure to watch those. Alright, alright, cool. More forage, so let's forage through this rock pile. Alright. Found some raw meat, alright. Let's see what's through here. Alright, and we found some moldy bread. Yuck, alright. Now I'm not expecting much from finding in a rock pile, alright? So, keep looking. And like I said, yeah, it's like, you might see, oh, cool, got some more rations. Okay, look through the rock pile. You don't have to stand on it. You can just be within a square because they kind of move in a square kind of grid area. Wow, I'm getting lucky with the food. So, uh, you can see he's a little little hungry there. So let's go ahead and use one of these rations. Click on eat, and it'll go up. Make sure you're like full. And uh, yeah, because it's another stat you have to worry about poison and all that stuff like that. One game I was just super hungry. I could not find food for the life of me, and I died from starvation. It's just one of those lazy die unfortunately but it still gives you that replayability now I think of it as more of an artificial difficulty if it's not what done well and that's what my problem is with most roguelike games because the difficulty feels artificial it's put in there because it's more of a luck thing and difficulty in a sense is not fair when it's based on luck I find that very irritating because oh if I just had this had just happened to me or I'm counting on Lady Luck, and look, I'm terrible at cards. <laughs> um, if any of you guys ever played the new Poker Night that just came out recently, I'd stick at that game, because my luck is just terrible. Alright, now we're sitting here coming up the doors. Let's go ahead and unlock. Now, lockpicking skill is only 26. I have a 64% chance of success, but I have a lockpick set, and if I click on that, it will increase it to 99%. But these are rare as well, so you have to be careful when you spin these. So let's go ahead and I'll try to unlock it with just a... Oh, didn't. We have a second chance. I believe you have three tries at the doors to, before they'll actually set off the alarm and actually wear enemies of your position and actually, I believe, maybe summon more of them. So let's go ahead. Alright, we did it. Sweet. That requires a shot. And congrats to me. Alright. Now I heard a sound. You can also listen for enemies in the distance. Okay, yeah. So we got some slittery snakes here. Those aren't too bad. So, oh, we got a little robot here. So let's go ahead and deal with these slittery snakes with my knife. Oh, come on. Oh, my knife got damaged. All right. Now shoot the robot. All right, one shot. As you can see, for oh, my gun is way more efficient killing than my knife because my Blade skills kind of suck, so let's go ahead and pick the bindings. Oh, a ruined freezer. Now, freezers usually have meat or food or stuff like that. You can pick out and cure your hunger. Let's see what these ammo boxes have. 
All right, found some rifle rounds. Now, we don't have a rifle yet, but we could hold on to those for later. But if we hold on to too much stuff, we have to worry about the inventory space that I have. Now, you can find backpacks, belts, so to increase your inventory slots. But, unfortunately, I don't have that luxury right now. So, oh, also, which class, they start off with different items. So, I have a lesser kind. I only have a jumpsuit to where a warrior would actually have some armor to start off with. And he have some more guns to start off with. To me, where I have a knife and a pistol. But, my advantage with me, my knife, as you saw later earlier on, it was damaged. But I have a kit. So I can hit click on that and repair the knife. And there you have it. So I have that advantage to me. But you could... It doesn't mean that the other classes aren't it's, don't have access to those kits. They just have to find them to where I have to... Can I actually start off with them? So, like I said, everyone has their advantages and disadvantages. Okay, so I do not know what's down that hallway because the the wall is blocking my way. But I know this guy is here, so let's go ahead and finish him. Oh, missed. Okay. My right, combat skills aren't the best. All right, so I have three bullets left. Oh, missed again. Come on, you can do it. All right. All right. Let's go face this wall so we have everything caught in my peripheral vision. Reload. Oh, something's coming. Oh, okay, good, just in time. These guys shouldn't pose a problem, so I'm gonna switch to the knife. Just as long as they're near within your. Oh my goodness, okay. I've fought these things before, they were paying me ass, so I'm gonna use the gun on them. Okay. Oh, ouch. Damage my armor. And you saw that big old chunk of life he took out of me. Come on. Alright. Oh no, wow. So we're already encountering alien. These guys are pretty tough as well. So I doubt I can hit them from here because my aiming's not so well with the pistol. So I'm going to escape for a little bit so I can reload. Cool. Now I'm going to duck out of here. Alright. Get a little closer. Oh. Oh. Come on. Got him. All right. He was a little tough. Man, he took a chunk out of me. Now I'm wounded and I'm choking. But let me go ahead and level up a little here first. Let's do have more might so we can take a little bit more damage. And uh, decisions, decisions. Lock picking, electronics, mechanical, uh, pistol. And we should get one more point. And we'll do knife. Good. That kind of works out for me. Let's go into your inventory, and of course we start off with the med kit, thank god. And we'll use it. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 sorry, I forgot. Guys, since we leveled up, I get healed that way, so thank god I don't have to worry about it. Good thing I waited. Oh, got some worms out here. Come on. Yeah. I got some tea. Now, all, you're probably, why are you picking up all this junk? Now, there's a crafting system. I wish there was a crafting table that would pop up here soon. Oh, hello. Oh no, another dog. Okay, so. Alright. This is a trap. Now, my skills were high enough to actually see this before I actually were to set off, thank God. But, my trap skills, I don't rely on them too much to where I actually can disarm it, so I'm just going to leave it alone and not step on it. Here's another armor box. It's probably open. And a 99% chance of opening it, so heck yeah. And lucky, lucky me, I got some pistol ammo and some rifle rounds, but I don't have a rifle yet, so. Now I know what you're thinking, it's like, can you use those items and sell them later on? No, there's no stores or sellers of any kind in this game, so unfortunately it's basically just a burden if you just keep it. If you don't think you'll be leveling yourself up as a rifle user, and it's like, yeah, I don't want to, oh, I got poison. You know, I'm just kind of tired of these guys. And I don't plan to go too far in this game anyway, so I'm just going to use my pistol. I got poison. So, as an engineer, another perk with the engineer, I can... I start off with the anti-venom, and I can use this, and I can also manufacture it at cooking areas. I know, right? And a victim at a cooking area. So let's go ahead and use this. 99% working. Everything... Oh, did not work. Oh. That sucks for me. Okay, use. Huh. Oh, that's weird. Okay, for some reason it didn't work. Even though I had 99 percent I believe it was the wrong one, maybe? So poison is still going through, but it wears off eventually. Or 
it might get worse too. It's like this. See, it's like, like I said, guys, this game seems to be for the masochist because this game seems to be just doing all kinds of bad things to you. But when you, when something good happens to you, it just feels way more rewarding as a tech. So let's go ahead and pry this open. Awesome more rifle rounds. Now this is a weapons locker. Now I have a 10% chance of doing successful. What's a weapons locker? So I really want the I really want the weapon inside to help me out. So I now I will use the lock pick. Now I have a 76% chance of doing it. Not the most uh sure fire away, but at least it chance yep. Queet. Queet? Sweet, it increases my chances and check it out. I have a target pistol more round and I got shotgun shells awesome oh excuse me guys let's go back into the inventory now I got the targeting pistol sweet now I'm gonna put it in my third thing All right. let's see so my regular pistol had 30, uh, 35 ability accuracy of 50 damage of 9 40 penetration this one has a accuracy of 70 damage of 9 and penetration 35 more accuracy, but less penetration, and the same amount of damage. But that means I'm just going to be using that, and it carries more rounds in it. Why not, right? Oh, hello. Alright, so I'm almost getting that sure shot. Okay, now why don't you just go down to that door, Lush? Um, they have color-coded diamonds here in the top of the arches. will tell you, uh, pretty much signify that this... Door has a trap on it. Uh, I don't want to go through the easy way, so I'll just use my lockpicking skills to go through this one that doesn't have the diamond on it. Cool. Now I avoid being poisoned or whatever that nasty door had for me in store. That's good. Hopefully, we can pry this, this locker open. Awesome. Alright, we have a polymer infuser. Alright, this uh, fusion injector pours advanced polymer to any weak points and pieces of armor right with you. So basically, this repairs armor. Let's go ahead and use it. That never sent chance, and it did it. Awesome. Sweet. Looks like things are looking up for the gamer lush. Oh, what's in here? Alright, so I have an 8% chance to break the retinal lock. Let's go ahead and try it. Don't want to. I have only 20% chance of failing. Alright, got it open. And I got some duct tape. Great. All the future, all the advancements of the future, and we still use duct tape. Brick to hold it up, duct tape to hold it in. <laughs> Alright, I'm telling you, we'll never get rid of duct tape. Alright, everything seems to be fine, we'll just do this. Because doing these things, actually, whatever you do increases your skill. So now you see my upgrade, my lock picking skills are upgraded just by unlocking it, even though I really didn't have to. So any door I find come across, I'll try to unlock pick and just increase my skills. Alright, let me do it, come on. Alright, big empty room. That was pointless. That's fine. We just got the points anyway. Blammo! Love this pistol. Alright. Anything else here? Nope, nope. Alright, seems alright. Did we explore everything? Now, right, guys, now just because you feel like you emptied out a floor, don't get cocky. Don't get cocky, kid. <laughs> and make sure everything's explored, and then that's when I think is the best way to. Actually, go around and go to the manhole cover. Can I actually repair this? Nope. I'm gonna go do one more floor, guys. So hopefully, we'll find uh, some some. Oh, hello. Nope, didn't clear it out. There's one more guy. Got him. Still got the experience points for him. So good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and reload now. Oh, now where was that manhole? There it is. We're gonna do one more floor, guys. Okay. Now, as you can see, the environment started to change, so there's more of this tile now, there's more freezers, less piles of garbage we have to go through, so, booyah, kill you, kill you, kill you. Now, you're probably thinking, wow, this combat is so easy, only because I was lucky enough. Yes, like I said, luck has a big factor in this. Cheers, guys. And it'll be frustrating, but when you actually get those things, it just feels more rewarding. So let's go ahead and put more might, just for the hell of it. I'm um, definitely doing more pistol, because we've got a really awesome pistol, computers, mechanical-wise. Uh, let's go ahead and do traps, and we'll be sure we get... Alright, let's go ahead and 
Open this lock. Freezer. Oh, wow, guys, I haven't been paying attention to my hunger. Alright. So, it's a good thing. Got it. Oh, got lobster cake and safe meat. So cool. Let's go ahead and hit look in the inventory. Mm, let's go ahead and eat that lobster cake. Cool. And let's eat the safe meat. And, oh, so we basically and sometimes they actually have little signs here. So this little drumstick will say, "Oh, this is a food hall. This is a mess hall." So you have a higher chance of finding food in that area. Okay. Now this is a drop status field. I can now have my computer, my computer skills are 56, which should be pretty high, but this seems to be a more advanced stasis locker or pantry, so we're going to use our digital assistant, 79, even with the digital system, it's assisted, it's at 79, so we'll go ahead and, come on, okay, hurry right, before this guy attacks, awesome, we were to get it, and we all got three, we got three food pellets, not too bad, let's shoot you, nope, didn't got, all right, Oh, see, okay. I wasn't paying attention like I was saying. So now that trap hit us, and now we're blind. Now I can't see a damn thing, so now I'm super screwed. So this will wear off eventually, so I gotta be careful and tread an area I think that is safe. So I kinda know that this room is safe, but as I'm moving, enemies are moving into my area, knowing that I'm in this room. So hopefully, come on. Wear off, wear off. Alright, cool. Thank God we weren't attacked. Oh, and I walked through the trap again like a moron. Yes, these traps are not just triggered off. Once you run through them, you if you run through them again, they'll they'll trigger off again. So I was being stupid, and of course, uh, yeah, these uh, I make me forget about that crap. Uh, so I'm being attacked now. I'm not to guess where this guy is at. Thank God I was able to guess right. Uh oh. Okay, now I can hear something in the area, but... There we go. Uh, thank God it wore off. Cool. Let's reload. Let's not go through that door again like a dumbass. Bring it on, guys. I'm not feeling a little too confident. I'm poisoned. Come on. Alright. I'm pretty beat up. All right, guys. Like I said, I I said we were gonna go through the third floor, but you guys, if you are into like those games with challenges, like I said, this is a roll like game. So if I were to die there, that that's basically would have been game over for me, and I had to start to start a new character up. But if you guys like these games, like Diablo esque dungeon crawlers, RPGs, so where you can level up your person, have, but you hate the fact that a big majority of the game is due to luck and what you might find. But some of that luck is controlled, so if I wasn't able to open that weapons locker, there would have been no way I would have found that targeting pistol. So you have some control over it, and it's not totally luck. But as as always, guys, give this game a try. I'll put it in the, the link description below. And join me for next time. Please, guys, if you had a good time with me or it was informed about a game you didn't know about it, join me again for the next one. Like, subscribe. Put a comment below, and I've enjoyed my time with you guys. And as always, cheers and game on. In front of me, don't stand in front of me. Look at that, three cleaving these bastards. Damn, get the hell out of here. You want some? You want some? No, you don't want some, because I'll just kill your ass. Booyah! Get this crap out of here. I love this. I don't know.